what are your top five favorite shading inks within the Noodler's family? Let's leave out Noodler's Apache Sunset since it's sadly out of stock for the time being. Okay, well, uh, you know what? I can appreciate why you want me to leave out Apache Sunset, but I'm gonna put that in there anyway because Apache Sunset is an unbelievable shader. Like, not only does it shade well, but it looks, it like changes color. Like normally shading, and it just has to do with saturation, like a light to a dark color. And for those of you not familiar with shading, like I don't want to assume that you know what shading is, because this could be the very first video you've ever looked up on fountain pens. And you're like, what is this guy talking about shading? Shading is when you are writing with a fountain pen, it is liquid ink, so it's water-based ink. Um, it's different than ballpoint and gel ink. So what happens, rather than laying down like one thick line of a very black, saturated, continuous color, like you would with a gel rollerball, for example, um, it's water, so it's gonna pool up in certain areas of the letters as you're writing. And it's gonna vary a bit in terms of how dark or light that it looks. Some people freak out and they're like, what's wrong with my pen? Why does it look so weird? I don't like this. Usually, once you get kind of the initial, after past, blah, once you get past the initial shock of, what is this thing? It's like, oh, this is really cool. And then certain inks that you get into, like Apache Sunset, does some really cool things when you get to the shading. Like Apache Sunset, what's so cool about that is when, at the lighter parts, it's this kind of like brighter yellow color. And then as it gets more saturated into kind of the areas where the ink pools up a little bit more, it actually turns to more of an orange and red color. So it's like really trippy, really changes colors a lot. Apache Sunset to me would be my number one shading ink. Like I'm not even particularly that crazy about yellows and oranges really, but that just the, the amount that that ink changes color just like rocks my world. So that would have to be my number one. Even though you said not to include it, I have to include it anyway. But that's okay, I got five more for you. So I actually gave a list of six just in case you wanted to get all technical. But, um, and plus, you know, it's out of stock right now, but you know, we might get it in stock in the next couple of days. And by the time somebody watches this video, it might be in stock. So I wanted to include it anyway. Um, but anyway, so you asked me for a bunch of other Noodler's shaders, top Noodler's shaders, okay? Um, another one of my favorites would be Noodler's Navajo Turquoise, okay? It's a nice turquoise, kind of a blue color, um, but it shades really heavily too. And that one doesn't change colors as drastically as Apache Sunset, but still it kind of bounces a little bit between that light and dark blue. Really cool. I'm a sucker for blue anyway. Uh, another one would have to be Noodler's Black Swan in Australian Roses. Now that ink has had a little bit of drama in 2014 with some changing of colors. It, um, I actually just spoke on the phone with um, the Noodler's distributor who's been speaking with Nathan and we've been trying to figure out what has been going on with this ink. Nathan has not changed the formula of that ink. So what's happened, there've been kind of like three different colors in 2014 of Black Swan and Australian Roses because the dye, the raw dye component has been inconsistent coming from the, the manufacturer. Wherever Nathan gets it from, I don't know. You know, whatever magical fountain pond, whatever, where this stuff flows from that he has his Oompa Loompas deliver it, you know. <laughs> the waterfall, like the magical ink waterfall that Nathan has in his, you know, Willy Wonka noodlers kind of area. Um, that has been has been inconsistent. And, and he's frustrated. I'm frustrated, you're frustrated, we're all just like, we don't know what to do. When you're getting into inconsistent stuff, what can you do? So um, the third, third color, the latest color that's come out, appears to be the more, the more predictable one that we can see moving forward. It's actually, you know, it went to like this heavy purple and then it kind of reeled back a little bit to more of a burgundy and that's kind of where it's settling, I think. I have no idea what it could do for the rest of the year or if it's ever gonna be the same and change and be consistent. I just don't know. So I'm sorry I don't have like the most definitive stuff to give you, but that's that's what I'm told. So I'll be doing a specific kind of blog post and everything about that here in the next week or so. But for the time being, we are re-swabbing it like today and we're gonna have it up on the gulepens.com. Sorry, today will actually be yesterday by the time this video publishes. So by the time this publishes, you can go on gulepens.com and you can see the swab of Black Swan Australian Roses. That is the color that we have now and are predicting that it's going to be moving forward. So it's the third, kind of the third variation that we've seen. <clears throat> so there's that. So that would be in my, another one, but it, it shades really well. All three versions have shaded really well, but now it's it's back to kind of more of the burgundy color instead of the purple. Three more colors. Okay, Noodler's Golden Brown would have to be one. That bounces between yellow and brown. It's not my favorite color, but 
when I want, when I'm in the mood for kind of a sepia color, that one's cool, heavy shading. And then this one is gonna trip you out. Noodler's Lexington Gray. Okay, normally gray inks don't shade incredibly, um, but this one, I really kind of dig it, especially because it's a permanent ink. It's a bulletproof color. And normally bulletproof inks don't shade all that well because they are really absorbent. They soak into the paper or they're heavily saturated in color. But this one, I dig it. It's gray, but it's a really dark gray. So it's, it's very usable, very readable. It's permanent and it has shading. That one's it's, it's a cool gray. And then the last one would be Nubler's Liberty Elysium. Of course, I love that color. I'm affiliated with it very heavily because it's an exclusive color here. That's not the reason I put it. I just love that blue. I love that it shades a lot. It is also a component of that blue is bulletproof. So we call it partially bulletproof because some of the blue will wash away, some of it will stay permanently. But even still, shades really nicely. So there you go. There's your list of five slash six colors.